Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D, and I'm here with André Becker from DJI. Hello, André. André, today you presented, you revealed uh, an upgrade to the DJI Inspire 2, which is a new camera. Uh, and it has super 35 millimeter sensor and a set of new lenses that you presented. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what is new from you? Yeah, um, the X5S already provides a really professional quality and with the X7 we, we go one step further, providing a really cinematic experience. This sensor shoots 6K, 6K RAW, uh, also 5K ProRes, and it really delivers what um, professionals are asking for. A big sensor with all its characteristics, shallow depth of field, uh, great detail, great colors. So uh, we tested the X5S sensor a while ago and we saw that it's really impressive in terms of quality and comes really close to a camera like the Aria Alexa. Um, but with the X7 you took it uh, one step further. Uh, so what, what is the improvement on the uh, sensor color side uh, with the X7? The X5 already provided a really professional quality, you are right. With the X7 we increased the sensor size so people get a super 35 millimeter video recording. Um, more details, more shallow depth of field, um, also a new um, color gamut, which everything matches now to the standards of really high-end film production. We also designed a new set of lenses, especially for the X7. There are no Super 35 lenses out there in the market which um, a small drone can carry. So we developed our own set of lenses. Um, they all provide f2.8. It's a set consisting of the four focal lengths, 16, 24, 35, and 50 millimeter. Um, the 60 millimeter lens um, also comes with built-in ND filters. So how, how can you control uh, light with the other lenses? Um, basically, the whole control over the lens is happening through the app. So while the pilot is flying, everything is um, controlled via um, the app, the ND filters, the, um, the shutter, and the aperture, of course. Right, but on the other lenses besides the 60 millimeter, you still have to use screw-on ND filters. Exactly. They come with um, threading, so basically the same um, filters they use for the MFT lenses, they fit also uh, in front of these lenses, so people can just upgrade the camera and still use the same ND filters or filters they're using. So what did you do to make these lenses uh, light enough to be carried by a drone like that? It took us a long time and um, lots of effort to build lenses which are small enough, lightweight and also um, provide the quality we need to match to the cinema standards. And now we are very happy to have these finally, uh, which run together with the X7. So Andre, can you give us a rundown of the recording possibilities of the sensor? Depending on the resolution, um, starting at 4K you can record at Apple ProRes 4444XQ. Just like on the X5S. Exactly, then 5.2K with Apple ProRes 422HQ. And for the highest possible quality, you can record 6K RAW with Cinema DNG 12-bit. Andre, you mentioned that you also improved dynamic range and noise, right? Yes, um, in comparison to the X5S, um, the X7 has 1.2 stops more of dynamic range. And if you look at the signal to noise ratio, it's always reduced by five decibel. When can we see a camera body that can carry this kind of sensor? Well, for now, the X7 stays with the Inspire 2 in the sky. Um, obviously, we, we listen to our customers and their needs, and it's the future of possible. Well, that's quite impressive. So thank you, André. Thank you. And uh, thank you for watching.